it just seems like a week, another week, another short week for you guys. How are you guys just getting adjusted to this? You know, I think it's like a third game this year. Y'all hadn't played on a Saturday. Well, I guess the biggest thing, you know, and, and during the course of the, the bus ride to, to Texas Southern, you know, we got a chance to break down some film on uh, on Alabama State. And, um, you know, the coach has done a great job of, of preparing the young men to get ready to play on a short week. You know, uh, we came out Sunday night and uh, got some work in Sunday night and Monday. And today, you know, we make a preparation day for the last physical day uh, of preparation. And tomorrow will be a little walkthrough before we get on the bus here to Alabama State. I mean, how exciting is it? Another game, another chance for you guys to be in national TV, national spotlight today. Well, it's, it's always good to, to be able to play on national TV and give, give this university some more exposure uh, than it's getting. And, um, you know, they, they need young men and, and the way they've been playing and uh, just excited about it, you know, uh, being on national TV. So, we're excited about the game being played on Thursday night. Um, running game, you guys have been on a tear lately. I, I know going into the year, you kind of knew what you had in foot. I knew you, what you had in Delance Turner. When did you know that you were going to really have some depth there in the running game? Well, actually, you know, when when, I, when we had about 15 offensive linemen in camp, you know, uh, we kind of felt that, you know, Coach Stanchek was going to do a great job of getting those guys ready um, and sustain that running game as we've always been in the past years. And, and I think he developed uh, the, the, the jailness and the – and the camaraderie of the offensive line to where uh, we can sustain blocks and open up holes for the running backs. Got to talk about Isaiah Thomas getting Defensive Player of the Week. How have you just seen him grow and develop this season? Well, the biggest thing is, you know, playing against Southern uh, last week and and, uh, and being able to come out and, and, and change his whole game style the way he played against Texas Southern um, on Friday, you know, was a big deal. You know, I think that everything shows that where he's been trying to learn and studying film work and, and doing the things he needed to do to be successful on the football field. And I think Coach Thomas has done a great job with that young man, uh, coming from East Central and, and doing the things he's supposed to do. What are just going to be some of the other keys for you guys on Thursday? Well, the biggest thing is, you know, staying focused, um, you know, for a short week and finishing the plays that we have to finish and, and being able to just to finish fighting, you know, the biggest thing and eliminate some of the, the crazy pillars, I call them. Um, you know, and uh, just kind of offset that with execution on offense and, and being able to sustain um, drives and, and converting third downs and getting off the field on defense on third down as well. You know, it's the biggest thing for us. You know, we just got to just play solid football all the way around, especially team-wise. So, How's the health of the team this point in the season? Well, i tell you what, considering what we've been over the past, it's great. Um, I think the, the training staff here with Jaleesa, uh, she's been doing a great job of getting these guys back from playing uh, in a half amount of time as uh, as we expect as coaches to get these guys back on the field. So, um, you know, health wise I think we're pretty good. We, we we lose a few there, you know, just being banged up. But I think, you know, the health issue has been resolved as much as we've passed for the years. All right.